Hello and welcome to Face Prep. If you are preparing for the Infosys on campus drive for 2021 passouts, heads up, Infosys has released official information with respect to what is going to be the updated recruitment pattern. So, uh, in this video, we will be covering the exact updated recruitment pattern that is going to be official that you are going to be seeing in the online test that you are going to be taking up for the Infosys recruitment drive this year. And we have also done analysis on the Infosys sample test, official samples that has been released, which is then giving us a lot of understanding in terms of what is going to be the syllabus. So without much further ado, let's dive in. Let's talk about the Infosys updated test pattern. So the first round is going to be an online test and the online test is going to be, ha going to be having five different sections. Let's talk about section by section. The first section is going to be a section in which the skill tested is going to be reasoning ability. So this is going to have 15 questions to be solved in 25 minutes and you are basically expected to gain one mark per question. So the maximum marks that you can gain in this section is going to be 15 marks. Then in the second section, the skills that are going to be tested are mathematical ability and logical reasoning. So this is a section which will have a combination of questions from both quants and logical. And here you are expected to solve 10 questions in 35 minutes. So as you can see, this particular section is going to have more amount of time that you can take to solve per question because you only have 10 questions per 35 minutes. But at the same time, this section is also going to be a challenging one. And here also you are expected to gain one marks per question. Both of these sections, they kind of remain the same with respect to what was the old pattern of Infosys. The third section is also a remnant from the old pattern of Infosys, verbal ability. In fact, the most important section in the entire online test, the verbal ability section has also been retained. But the one change that has happened is the number of questions and the duration has changed. The new question number of questions and duration is 20 questions to be solved in 20 minutes. Now, there are two more sections that have been newly added in the Infosys online test pattern. Those two sections are the fourth section, starting with the fourth section, it's a pseudo code section. So this is a very newly added section. So here you are expected to answer questions which will basically be language independent and which will test your ability to solve programming logic questions. So here you will have five questions to be solved in 10 minutes and here the number of marks per question is expected to be two marks per question. And then very interestingly, there is a fifth new section called puzzle solving. So in puzzle solving, you will end up having four puzzle questions to be solved in 10 minutes. And here each of these questions might have different weightages. Certain questions might have one mark, certain questions might have two marks, certain questions might also have three marks. So here the weightage for different questions can differ. So overall, if you look at what has changed, the first three sections have remained the same, except for the fact that the verbal ability has gone through a change with respect to number of questions. But two new sections have added, pseudo code and puzzle solving. So this is an official update, which means that if you are preparing for the Infosys recruitment process, you need to prepare for two more newly added sections. So overall, it comes down to a 54 question test to be solved in 100 minutes. This is the official updated test pattern for Infosys. Let's take a look at the Infosys updated online test syllabus. So at Facebook, what we have done is we have very carefully researched the official sample paper that has been released. And we are very happy to let you know that with respect to the three old sections, our syllabus is exactly in sync with respect to what has been tested. Now we have also added a lot of minute details with respect to understanding how many questions per topic can you also expect by researching the sample paper. So without much further ado, let's dive in. First is the reasoning ability section. So in the reasoning ability section, like correctly identified by Facebook earlier, the topics continue to be data sufficiency, data interpretation, logical deduction and syllogisms. But the last two topics alone seem to be combined together under a particular question type or area called deductive reasoning. And you can expect up to five questions in each of these topics. Then comes mathematical and logical reasoning. 
So these two components are combined together to form a particular section that is called the technical ability test on the sample paper by Infosys. With respect to mathematical reasoning, there are expected to be five questions that cover number one, crypt arithmetic, like phase prep correctly identified in all of our earlier videos. Crypt arithmetic is one of the very, very important topics with respect to Infosys uh, recruitment. It continues to play a very, very major role, challenging question types. You also get to see number series questions, ratios and proportions questions, permutation combination, probability questions too, also played a major role in the sample test. But given that this is mathematical reasoning, also ensure that you prepare for topics such as time and work, time speed and distance, profit and loss, partnerships, averages, algebra also. With respect to logical reasoning, you can expect five questions on data arrangements, which is also a topic that we correctly identified earlier. Then comes verbal ability, the most important and also the very challenging section in the entire Infosys recruitment process. While the number of questions has changed, the topics kind of continue to remain the same. You continue to have critical reasoning, which is one of the very challenging and important topics here, where you can expect about three questions. You also get to have questions on English corrective usage. English corrective usage is expected to be sentence completion questions where you will need to apply knowledge of grammar as well as vocabulary. Then comes English error correction where questions are expected to be of the type where a sentence is given, a part of the sentence or the entire sentence is underlined and you will need to end up correcting the error if any in that part of the sentence. So these questions are very similar to what you would find in a lot of papers that are titled choose the best alternative. Then comes English error identification where you would be given four to five sentences and you will need to identify either the correct or the incorrect sentence. Finally, there is reading comprehension which again plays a major role where you can expect at least one passage of up to five questions based on that passage. With respect to the newly added sections, pseudo coding is a section where you can expect questions that are language independent. That's what pseudo coding basically itself means. So it doesn't really matter whether you do not know C, C++, Java or Python. The questions are written in English language, but they will be written in the form of code. They are expected to do nothing but testing your ability to solve questions on programming logic. Are you able to trace the flow of a program written in English? Are you able to find the output of a given program that's written in English? So as long as you are able to apply programming logic, you will be able to solve these questions very, very easily. Then you can expect puzzle questions. So in puzzles, you can expect number based pattern, st pattern style questions where you can be given grids with numbers filled in the grids and you uh, will be given questions where you will need to understand the pattern between multiple grids and find the missing number in the grid. You can expect questions on that. You can also expect visual reasoning style questions with or without numbers and also prepare for other kinds of puzzles also like word puzzles and pseudo puzzles. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Stay tuned to Facebook for more awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe.